many parents are worried about their children, bearing in mind that if a parent has the condition as a 50% chance, the child will inherit it. And one could argue that we've got genetic testing now. This is a genetic condition, so it's easy. We just do a genetic test on the parent, and if the parent's positive, we then do the same genetic test on the children, and we can predict very early if a child's affected or not. The important thing to remember is that this is a very heterogeneous condition. By that I mean there are several genetic mutations that can cause hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So the process of genetic testing is very laborious, very time-consuming and very expensive. And despite very comprehensive genetic screening, we only get the answer back in 60% of cases. So the first point is that genetic testing takes a long time. And in 40% of people that are affected, we don't get the answer. So in the current climate, Genetic testing is not possible in everyone, so we still rely on screening. And what we would normally recommend is that the children get screened once at the age of five. If we, if we find nothing, again at the age of 10. If we find nothing, they get screened every year throughout puberty until adulthood to the age of 21. Now this is very, very important because hypertrophy, that is thickening of the heart muscle, usually coincides with the pubertal spurt. So what's not there at the age of 10 may be rife by the age of 15 or 16. So we cannot screen a child at the age of 10 or 11 and say, we found nothing, there's nothing wrong with you. We have to follow them through until adulthood. So what's hap what happens at the, at the point of 21 years of age? We found nothing. Well, in most situations, if, you, if we found nothing at the age of 21, the patient's probably not got it. But there are small cases where families exhibit what we call age-related penetrance, that is that the disease becomes apparent in the fourth or fifth decade. So we advise people to be screened every five years from the age of 21 onwards, or to come back earlier should they develop any of the symptoms suggestive of cardiac diseases such as chest pain, breathlessness, palpitation, dizziness or unheralded blackouts.